Hello, everyone. This chapter is about E0B system structure. We are going to introduce hardware structure, logical structure, and the specifications of E0B production. We'll divide into two small parts. First is about baseband unit introduction. We normally call it BBU. Second is about RF unit. So now let's start from BBU first. There are three types of BBU production. BBU 3900, BBU 3910, and BBU 3910A. These two BBU, they have the same appearance. It's one 2U height box being installed inside cabinet. Well, the difference is that BBU 3910 has better hardware processing ability. The back plane bandwidth switch capacity doubled compared with BBU 3900. Also provide more simple interfaces. And this BBU 3910A is new type of BBU. We call it blade BBU. Together with blade RRU, Blade power, blade battery become the new blade side solution. So this new side solution, all the models installed on the tower, so save the ground space, no need cabinet. Now let's first check the physical structure of BBU 3900, 3910. Here, the dimension is 2 your height and 19 inch length. The power consumption is between 132 volt to 300 volt, depending on the configuration. The weight less than 12 kilo. From the front panel of BBU, we can see there are totally 11 slots. Slot 0, slot 7 are used for normal boards. Slot 0 to slot 5, we can configure BBP board, baseband processing board. And the slot 0, slot 1, slot 4, slot 5, we can configure USCU board as optional. While here, the slot 6 and the slot 7 reserved for main processing board. Installed on slot 7 as priority. On the left side, slot 16 is for fan model. Slot 18 and slot 19 is for power and environment model, UPEU. Here is one typical LT side configuration. For sure, we need one MPT board, main processing board, as mandatory, installed in slot 7 as priority. And the slot 3 configure one BBP board, can be LBBP or UBBP. The left side slot 16 for sure is for fan model. And the slot 19 configure one UPEU as mandatory. After checked the physical structure, now let's discuss the logical structure of BBO 3900-3910. From the picture we can see it consists of three subsystems. Control, transport, baseband subsystem. Control subsystem is process signaling and provide operation and maintenance through the interface connected with external OMC system. While the second transport subsystem the first function is provide transmission interfaces like FEGE ports to connect with external MME, SGW, or neighboring E0B. It also has a function to process transport protocol. As we know, there are various types of data using the different protocol. For the signal data, signaling received from MME is using SCTP, and the user data received from SGW is using GPTU 
uh, over UDP. So different types of data are processed here, then forward to internal mode or external NE for further processing. The control subsystem and the transport subsystem are implemented by the same board, MPT board. We will introduce it later in detail. Well, let's check the third subsystem, baseband subsystem. It's used to process baseband signal. Let's take downlink data, for example, to explain the processing steps. First, the data received from the MME will be pr pressed uh, through these three layers, PDCP, RLC, MAC, processed, and then be coded using turbo coding. After the coding, send to uh, this modulation model. For LTE downlink data, we have three modulation schemes. First is QPSK, and the second is 16 QAM, third is 64 QAM, corresponding to 2 bits per modulation symbol, 4 bits per modulation symbol, and 6 bits per modulation symbol, different rates. And after the modulation, the subsystem will perform MIMO and OFDM processing, then send to RF unit through the CPRI model. This baseband subsystem is implemented by BBP board, can be LBBP or UBBP, except the three main subsystems there are also other models like clock model, power model, fan model, CPRI model to support e not b function. Now let's check each board, uh, the interfaces and the functions in detail. First is our MPT board, main processing and the transmission board. Have two types, LMPT for LTE mode only and UMPT, universal, can support multi-mode. For LMPT board, here from the front panel we can see from left to right, first there are two FEGE port, electrical port, to provide the transmission. And the next are two USB connector. First USB can support uh, uh, automatic data loading and commission. The second is for clock signal testing. Then in the middle is ETH port for local maintenance connection. Next are two FEGE optical port. The same with this electrical port provide transmission interfaces connect with external uh, MME, SGW, or neighboring e not b Here are two round ports. First is GPS port, connect with GPS antenna. Second is the reset button. There are three indicators on the most right of MPT board. Run, alarm, ACT. Run, run indicator, this indicator, normal status should be blinking on green light. One second on, one second off. For the alarm indicator, normally should stay off. And for the ACT, if steady green, means this board is active board. There are also indicators on each transmission port, link and ACT to indicate this port transmission status is normal or no. LMPT, we, be, we normally configure it on slot 7 as priority, also can install on slot 6. The LMPT only can be configured in BBU3900, cannot be installed in BBU3910. Now let's check UMPT. 
this board from the front panel, there are slightly different. Only one FGE electrical port, optical port to provide this FEGE transmission. And the next is one CI interface. This is one new port to interconnect with another BBU. And here, this also USB port. While this USB port inside UMPT integrated another function, we can use this port to local connect with our computer for local maintenance. And here is one E1T1 interface. This is new because UMPT also support 2G, 3G. So reserve this port for connection. Well, here the same has one GPS port and the reset button. Well, in the middle, here there are three indicators, R0, R1, R2. These three indicators can show different, uh, can show the working mode of UMPT. We can check this UMPT is working on GSM mode or UMP, UMTS mode or LTE mode. This UMPT board also be configured on slot 7 as priority. UMPT uh, can support in BBU 3910, different with LMPT. This table sorted different types of UMPT board according to the application mode. There are two serial UMPT, serial A, including A1, A2, and A6, serial B, B1, and B2. Serial B start using on eRun 6.0 version. It can support multi-mode. Uh, these two boards be widely nowadays. Well, now let's check how to connect with UMPT board using this USB port. So we need one USB to Ethernet adapter. One port connect with UMPT board, another port connect with our site engineer's local computer. And here has one fixed IP address, 192.168.0.49. Then site engineer can log in this IP address to log in the web LMT to start local maintenance. Now let's check another important board, BBP. BBP also is mandatory board and divided to LBBP, UBBP. For LBBP, which only be used on LTE mode, only be installed on BBU 3900, there are two serious LBBP board, LBBPC and LBBPD. From the front panel, we can see they all have six separate interfaces can connect with the RF unit. While this LBBPD have one more HEI port. This port can connect with another BBU, uh, BBP board to share baseband resource. So the BBP board can be installed on slot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, the slot 3 is priority. This table listed four types of LBBP working on FDG mode. LBBPC, D1, D2, D3. Well, we can discover that the LBBPD2 can support 44R. Only this board can support 44R. And LBBPD3 can support 6 cells. So only this board can support 6 cells. Well, for the TDD mode, 
there's one new LBBP D version board, D4, can support up to 8T, 8R antenna configuration. For the UBBP, the appearance the same with LBBP D serial, and it also uh, be configured on slot zero to slot five. But UBBP only can be configured uh, can be configured uh, not only BBO three nine hundred, also BBO three nine ten. It can support multi mode baseband resource sharing. This table listed four UBBP type working on FDD mode. D3, D4, D5, D6. We can discover that D4 and D6 can support 44R antenna configuration, while the D5 and D6 can support up to six cells. For the TDD mode, there are three types of UBBPD board. The D9 is only working on this TDD mode, can support up to 8T8R antenna configuration. Now let's continue introduce the models inside BBU. This is a fan model. It's mandatory be installed in slot 16. Well, there are three types of fan. The first, the oldest, is fan, and the second is fan C, and the newest one is fan D. Fan D can be supported inside BBO3910, and it also presents better performance. That the uh, maximum rotation speed can reach to 9,000 rotation per minute. And here is another mandatory model, UPEU, Universal Power and Environment Interface Unit. From the name, we know that it consists of two functions. First, it can convert different voltage to 12 volts, which is the working volts for our boards inside BBU. And the second function, it provides the interfaces to connect with external environment monitoring devices. We can see here there are totally four interfaces. First two, external alarm one, external alarm zero. Each port can provide four channels for a Boolean signal transmission. So totally uh, both board Ports can support eight channels Boolean signal transmission. While the monitor one and monitor zero, these two ports can provide two channels RS485 signal transmission. The external alarm, this port we used to connect with the water sensor, door sensor, while the monitor port we used to connect with the BTS cabinet to receive the alarm signal there. There are four types of UPEU. The newest type, UPEU-D, which can be installed inside BBU-3910. This unit we normally installed uh, in slot 19 as priority. Now let's check this UEIU, Universal Environment Interface Unit. This is one optional unit. You can see here has four ports to connect with external dry alarms or RS-485 signal. So it's the same function with UPEU uh, to provide this interface for external environment devices. Why it's optional? Uh, it can only be used when the side needs to connect lots of external devices. That one UPEU not enough to provide, provide the interface. So we can add one more UEIU. 
instruct uh, 18 that uh, upper the UPEU. Well, this USCU is the Universal Satellite Card and Clock Unit. This unit can process the clock signal like GPS, RGPS, TOD, PPS, and bit signal. There are two, three types of USCU. USCU B11, B14, and also B22. B11 don't have the satellite card. B14 built in one satellite card. And B22 can install two satellite cards. So that's the difference between these three boards. This unit also is optional because we know that uh, the main processing board UMPDB2 version built in the GPS processing the satellite card. So if the site is LTE TDD site need use GPS signal, so if already configured UMPT B2, then no need to configure USCU port for the GPS signal processing. Well, now let's continue to discuss the third type of BBU, BBU 3910A. We also call this blade BBU. Together with blade RIU, blade battery, blade power become blade site solution. This solution, all the models are installed on the pole. So no cabinet on the floor. Then can solve the site acquisition problem. Well, this BBU model is quite small. The volume only 12 liter and uh, the weight only 12 kilo. There are three types of blade BBU, A1, A2, and A3. A1 and A3 can support both TDD mode and FDD mode, and can support up to 44R antenna configuration. While the A2 and A3 we can see here can support six cells. So if the site solution is need to configure more than three cells, we can choose these two BBO. UMDU, this is Universal Multimode Digital Unit. This unit highly integrated BBP board and MPT board together. So this is the only unit inside BBO 3910A box. Well, you can see here it has a subsystem for control, transmission, baseband, also as a model for monitoring, clock, power, and interconnection. The same function uh, as UMPT and the BBP board. Well, now let's have a look at the ports on the Blade BBU. It also can provide six separate interfaces. And at the bottom, as connection, transmission connection, can provide one GE0, GE1, optical and electrical FEGE transmission, and one E1T1 interfaces. The DBG is used for local maintenance. GPS here to connect with GPS antenna. And external alarm used to connect with external environment monitoring equipment. For the indicators, this blade BBU also have three indicators, R0, R1, R2 to indicate the model is working on GSM mode or UMPT or UMTS or LTE or multi mode. So that's all for this chapter's content. We introduced the physical and logical structure of BBO 3910, 3900. 
also the important boards and the models, the specification and the slot configuration. Well, at the end, we introduced the new BBU, Blade BBU, BBU 3910A, the logical and hardware structures. And the next chapter, we will continue introduce RF unit. Thanks for your time.